So this here is a friend, a young man I met, and he's an artist, and so I told him I would paint his portrait for him. And um, it's pretty small, eight by 10, I guess. And uh, my first painting in quite a long time. And let's just see, I'm using milk oil paint. There's the milk mixed into a milk gel. Here's the oil paints and you mix them together and then you've got some liquid there. You have to use non-fat milk. You, you have to use non-fat milk, uh, whole milk or um, uh, reduced fat milk, all that, it'll never dry. So you get non-fat milk, there's no fat in it and it will dry. And here are the, the glazes, which is really rubbing uh, they uh, they dry in five minutes or less, and any impasto, which is thick paint, uh, will will dry within uh, the hour. So you can see my website, uh, or you can see my videos on YouTube, CSO Velasquez, or see my website, Calcite Sun Oil. Thank you. Milk oil paint, by discovery that I made. Uh, can be used as a base, a fast drying underlayer, and then you can uh, over paint with traditional oil paints. And, uh, but once you start painting with oil paints, you cannot use more milk oil paint. It won't adhere. And so here I am mixing uh, the, mil the milk gel with the oil paint to make my milk oil paint. So like I said, you get uh, like 50% of the milk gel, which is a mixture of non-fat milk liquid and non-fat milk powder. And then you, you just mix it together and uh, it mixes very easily and it dries very fast. So it's a great alternative to acrylic paints. You don't, you don't really need acrylic paints. These, this is totally, completely safe. Just make sure you buy safe oil paints. Well, I I have pretty much started, uh, I got the un, underpainting done, which is in muted tones, grays, and now I'm rubbing. And this rubbing is called um, rubbing. And um, it's adding the warm, warm colors on top. So, yeah, getting back to rubbing. Uh, yeah, rubbing, you know, it has different names in different countries, but basically it's the same. You, you are creating optical colors by where it's uh, thicker, uh, it's brighter, and when it's you, you rub thinly, you see the gray underneath. And I've just got my three primaries. I got, you know, blue, red, and yellow, white. I have a number brown and a sienna brown. And um, some people really prefer to create their, uh, do a premix, and that's okay. I, I don't have the patience. So I, I usually just, uh, I rub. and I think you'll like it. Rembrandt said that uh, paintings, it's only done when the artist says it's done. And I believe that. Uh, that means that the creative process, as long as you have an idea in your mind, you're, you should go for it. If you want to change something, just do it. You know, now all these colors here are pretty drab, but uh, the moment will come when I will brighten them up. Um, corrections with milk oil paint is very easy. You just mix the liquid non-fat milk with your milk oil paint and uh, and it overlays and it merges beautifully.
So impasto, impasto is when you get a lot of thick paint and you just apply it. Milk oil paint is perfect for this. And it dries in one hour and it's permanent. It overlays. I still need to do a lot of work on the face, but I'm leaving that for last. I'm working on my foundation. All right, so this is my progress so far. I got the foundation down. I've been at it for maybe 45 minutes to an hour, not too long. And uh, you can see the impasto and some of the underdrawing is there still. I'll be reworking this until I'm satisfied. So I've done a little bit of more work on the face. It's going to need more work, and uh, I brightened up the uh, background a little bit. So let's keep on working on it. So what I did, um, I waited an hour for the paint to dry, the impasto and everything else, and then I applied a single coat of uh, Damar Final Picture Varnish. No, no, excuse me, Mastic, not Damar. And um, it um, lifted the red. So as I applied the mastic varnish, it lifted the red, which makes me think that I didn't mix it well enough with the, the milk gel. As you know, the milk gel is the mixture of liquid non-fat milk and dry non-fat milk into a paste that's in mix 50-50 with the oil paint, but I didn't grind it enough. So I think uh, it was, uh, when it when the varnish was applied, it lifted, but I think it's okay now. So the painting was done in a, just a couple of hours or less. It's a small painting, eight by 10. Uh, it's an underpainting really, but you can just complete the entire painting with milk oil paint. The uh, if I wish to, I could uh, let it dry well, don't put the varnish on yet, and then do an oil out uh, with only um, the oil, not with an emulsion of milk or egg or anything, it'll lift it, so. And then you can just apply uh, traditional oil paints and you can blend a lot better.